Well, we took off to the mountains looking for mushrooms, and I was primarily looking for puffballs, but I had a real hard time finding mushrooms. I'll tell you, I looked through the meadows and everything, and most of the mushrooms I found were in really hard, inaccessible places, sometimes in really, really thick cover. And this particular mushroom here is right in the side of a creek. And the ones uh, I looked in the meadows, and some of those alpine meadows are, are beautiful and they're usually full of mushrooms, but uh, this time of year, uh, everything is consuming mushrooms, whether they're fattening up for hibernation or, or whatever, because they're, they're very good to eat and the animals are eating them and I couldn't find them, but I did find a few and I just wanted to take you along. Normally I don't take the camera. This terrain is pretty rough to walk, but I, I wanted to take you along just to show you what I see. And, uh, again, the terrain is so beautiful and the air is so fresh. It's just, I just love going up there looking for mushrooms. Now, I look for a lot of mushrooms around here too. But up in the mountains, the puffballs are renowned for their uh, health benefits. But I never found one this trip. I uh, found some chanterelles and, and different uh, other species. But And again, if you watch my videos, you know that I don't uh, eat any mushroom. I uh, usually dry them and breathe them. And I wanted to go up and get more mushrooms because I have a lot of my friends that are getting up there in age and their health is uh, not the greatest. And these mushrooms are amazing, the health benefits they have. Now, we just dry them and we put them in a jar and leave the lid loose. And you heard this a lot on this, on this channel and uh, breathe the healthy molecules. And it's been working for a lot of friends of mine. And it's been around for a long time. Not that many people know about it. And there isn't much literature on it. Now, again, I'm taking you with me here. I'm going to, I'm following the creek up the mountain. And that's, again, that's where I'm finding all my mushrooms. So I follow the creek up and you can see, uh, there's an area I want to go see. And I'll show you here a little later in the video where I know there's an alpine meadow up there I've been before, and it's right past this uh, clearing here. Now you can see I'm in the valley and I'm just zooming up to where I gotta be. It's a long ways, but I enjoy being up at these altitudes. It's a lot of fun and it's, uh, normally I'm hunting elk this time of year, uh, but I don't hunt anymore. Um, but I remember going up on some of these altitudes and <laughs> I remember one particular time I was up uh, glassing a, a valley and I watched, uh, we were elk hunting, and I watched two elk hunters call each other in. <laughs> Pretty funny, but anyway, now I'm up here at the, uh, getting up here in the altitude uh, fairly high, and you can see the soil just doesn't grow very much. I never found a mushroom all the way up. I was thinking of all going up over that ridge there, and that's uh, an area I've been before. And I found mushrooms there before. So that's actually where, where I'm going. But I ended up, I think right about now, I, I leave the camera and I'm going to go along that. You can see that clearing there and I'm going to go all the way up along that ridge. But I leave my uh, uh, stuff all uh, down and I just go up and look. And I went that whole distance and never found one mushroom. It's hard to believe. But again, everything's. Uh, I think everything's eating them and uh, they're just not to be found. And as soon as they uh, pop out of the ground, whether it's a squirrel or a bear or who knows what. But I'll tell you, squirrels are amazing that they actually reseed mushrooms because they t put them in trees and dry them. And of course, the spores then distribute and they're actually reseeding their, uh, the mushrooms for next year. And they dry the mushrooms, put them in their nest and eat them, uh, use them for winter food because they don't hibernate. Now, when I get back from the mountain, I just scanned around here to just to show you what I'm seeing. I mean, it never gets old. It's, I can't wait to go back up in the mountains. It's just uh, partly in my blood, but uh, it's truly spectacular, the terrain. And and uh, I saw some uh, a couple of goats and uh, a herd of uh, bighorn sheep, but I didn't have the camera. I left the camera down and now I'm down just scanning. And they were uh, they were just below this peak. And again, they're not even scared of you. They, they've never seen uh, very many humans and they're not hunted that much up there. So it was kind of neat to see them. 
And uh, But this is the amount of mushrooms I found in two days. Uh, not a spectacular amount, but enough. It was good. And we took the hike in there. It's fairly tame. I mean, it's a little, the hike has a lot of clearance. And here's a picture of that north from the other side of that peak. Now, again, this is a creek where I found pretty much 90% of the mushrooms in very, very hard places. Some were down by the creek, some were up on the bank, but the, all around it was really, really thick cover and uh, the alders and that. And you can see how they just grow right in amongst the uh, rocks and uh, I found most of them just right tight to the bank in the, in the thick willows and alders. But beautiful, that little creek, I mean, you could just go down and just take a handful of water, it's the most freshest water. I just really, really love being up there. Now, I do a lot of foraging around here, but I just wanted to show you, this is an actual bear path that I'm on and uh, just trying to make some time when I was uh, going up to where I left the camera. And you can see there should be loaded with mushrooms right, right in this area because of these areas, but there's nothing left because the bears have more or less eaten them all or whether it's skunks or... Uh, or squirrels. Now I wanted to show you this book by Christopher Hobbs on medicinal mushrooms and he uh, writes a really good book on the health benefits of mushrooms and uh, but it's based on consuming the mushrooms to get the health benefits. Now you know if you watch my channel we want you to dry those mushrooms and breathe them where you were they once they're dried and you breathe them they last for a very long time. Now he gives a list of the different claims to fame of the different mushrooms and it's a good read. Well there's the camera there and you can see we have signs and Duke and I are in the exact spot where that grizzly sow was and with her two two-year-old cubs and after four and a half hours of walking we managed to get a pretty good haul. But I'm out foraging for mushrooms and I come by one of my tree stands. I don't hunt anymore, but I had a lot of fun in that stand. Now three days ago, there was a mushroom right beside my basket. And it was about the size of this little guy. And I was leaving it because I like to let him grow a little bit bigger, it doesn't take long, and then I harvest them. Something else harvested it, but was smart enough to leave this one to grow bigger, but eat that one. And I know it was a bear because that's their MO. Now I'm gonna harvest this one simply because I won't be back here for a day or two. And by then, it'll be gone because it's fierce competition. Look at what's left of this red top. Something got it before me, but I got a piece of it. Now I brought my camera today just to show you how hard it is to find mushrooms this time of year. And I also brought it because the other day, four days ago, I guess three or four days ago, Duke put the run on a bear right over there. So I thought if I brought the camera, I might get a glimpse of him, but he's not here today. Now this guy appeared September 9th. I'll show you a little video here in the camera. I took a video of him then. But you can also see that we have another mushroom that has emerged. And this one I will harvest today. And that guy I'm going to leave for seed. And it's both these mushrooms are in our rock star. And I also wanted to show you that in places where I can't mow and don't want to use an edger, I also moss. It's beautiful, it's nice and green. You can see. And uh, here's the mushroom I was telling you about. I spotted it on September 9th, so I brought the camera out. I'll just show you, again, it's in our rock star. And look how it lifted that rock up while it was growing and uh, just pushed that rock right out of its place and just kept growing. It's nearly mature now and we'll be going to seed. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.